Hack. My name is Freak, and the mission today is to fly the fiscal rival like a fighter pilot. No, not Mach 2 with your hair on fire. Confident and prepared and dangerous. That's right. Nope. Safe. Now, if there's one thing every fighter pilot likes, it's a challenge. If there's another thing, it's a good piano burn. But that's a whole nother video. The challenge of the Fisk Arrival lies in the preparation and understanding how it's going to go down. If you're not prepared, you are going to be the challenge and a pain in the ass to everyone else. But you're here, which means you're prepping and you've already read the 32 page 2023 notum. So let's talk about what's not in the notum. Let's start strategic and then we'll pare down to tactical considerations. Number one, every pilot has a healthy fear of being violated by the FAA or sounding dumb on the radio. And tower, Cirrus 579. Well, good fighter pilots don't want to just not screw up. We want to dominate to ensure mission success, which starts in preparation, which is why you're here. Number two, and this is probably my favorite, assume everybody else is trying to kill you, or at best, they're just screwing up. Not that you're any better than them, just you have stronger survival instincts. Expect everyone else to be on the wrong airspeed at the wrong altitude, flying the wrong ground track, not having ADSB on, on the wrong frequency, and now you're ready to defend against those threats. This means always leaving yourself an out, having a divert option, having extra fuel, having altitude to use, jetting tasks to your co-pilot so that you can get your eyeballs out off of foreflight and scanning the horizon. Go to Endeavor, find traffic, there is traffic out there. If you don't see traffic, look again, there's somebody there. The last time I flew the Fisk Arrival in 2021, there was a Bonanza out in front of me that had I just followed his ground track, we would have been totally wrong just like him. I knew that he didn't quite know where he was going because he was off altitude and off airspeed and more on this lovely Bonanza here in a second. Identify as many threats as you can beforehand and have a plan to deal with them. I'm gonna get a lot more into the tactical considerations here in a second. Next. You are not the most important person flying out there until you are. Start off by being an elephant. Big ears, small mouth. Listen and observe. And if suddenly things go south and you have an emergency, now you are the most important person out there and act like You know that my crew and my plane come first. Speak up and remove the word request from your lexicon. Execute the contingency game plan you already came up with yesterday. A bad plan executed well is much better than a good plan executed poorly. Communicate as able. Now, speaking of communication, use the C4 communication concept, and this especially applies on the Fisk arrival. Clear, concise, correct, and comprehended. The communication plan on the Fisk arrival is a bit non-standard, so again, know what to expect and think elephant. I'd recommend watching the full Fisk arrival with all the ATC audio, I'll link it here. Number six, have a fast tactical cross check. Do not get sucked into the drool cup. You see in the F-15, the drool cup is your radar display. You get so focused on doing some excellent HOTAS work, shooting your AMRAMs, when you don't realize you're wearing a spike and getting by a couple of AA-10 alphas in the face. What? What that means, this is your drool cup, the iPad. The iPad with four flight and ADS-B, it provides amazing data, but that is a threat. It'll suck your attention in, and next thing you know, you're not clearing your flight path. You're not checking your airspeed. You're not checking your altitude. So move quickly back and forth and have that hub and spoke method. Hub being outside. One of the spokes is your airspeed. One of the spokes is your altitude. One of the spokes is for flight with ADSB. I mentioned shedding tasks. Physically hand that iPad over to your co-pilot. We saw an RV, a red RV6, I believe, spin on downwind to base leg. I cannot believe that gentleman survived. Thank goodness he did. Probably parked him over to Walmart to buy some new underwear. He lost his tactical cross check. He was in the drool cup. He was looking at something else and not his airspeed and he got slow and spun and thank goodness he recovered. Okay, let's shift away from strategy and mindset and focus on tactical execution. Number one, this should be plainly obvious, but I'll say it anyway. Don't bring any major squawks into Oshkosh. Ring out your plane the few weeks prior starting right now and address any issues that you've got. Number two, we just celebrated 100 years of aerial refueling in the Air Force, but unfortunately it hasn't made its way into general aviation. And guess what? These fuel tanks are gonna be choked. Everybody's getting gas the last few hundred miles into the fiscal rival, okay? So don't expect quick zip through the fuel tanks. There's gonna be lines, there's gonna be delays, uh, there's gonna be shortages. We ran into all of those. We're on a nice rural Minnesota tour. This is our third airport. 
first two, no gas, not no dumbed out, nothing. Thanks to Montevideo for <laughs> having fuel. But don't cut that corner and be short on fuel flying into the fiscal rival. There are constant delays for air demos, uh, storms rolling through, emergencies develop, and you might have to hold. Don't be afraid to divert. Try it all again once you're full on fuel. The places that didn't have fuel were the small, rural, self-service only type airports. The larger airports with the higher prices typically have bigger tanks and will run out of fuel later. Number three, it actually should have been number one. Go number one, physiological needs. Address those before you start the arrival. Don't tactically dehydrate yourself, okay? Tactical dehydration is you, you know, skimping on water so that you don't have to go to the bathroom. Uh, but that's gonna cloud your brain. You don't have to be thinking clearly and it's gonna be hot. You're gonna be sweating unless you're driving one of those Cirruses with the AC. Okay, number four, get there itis. All right, we're a little bit behind schedule. I experienced a little bit of this when I was checking the Oshkosh website, seeing the North 40 fill up. I was really hoping to camp on the North 40 and it was filling up quick and it was Sunday. So I pushed it up early um, and I just felt a little bit of that get there itis, but resist that. If you're worried about this and can't get there till Monday or Tuesday, it might be worth waiting to arrive Thursday when people start leaving. Five, ADSB. If you don't currently have a way to receive ADSB in and display it, say on an iPad, get one. Borrow a Stratus from a friend, borrow an iPad, or go out and buy one if you don't have one already. And it's gonna be worth its weight in gold in being able to pick your hole in the conga line where to join the arrival. Big, big, big warnings here. Number one, I already mentioned, don't let it become a drool cup. It's good for situational awareness. It's even better for a co-pilot to watch it and guide you. Number two, don't assume everybody has ADSB. There are gonna be old school planes in there that don't have ADSB. And so if you're assuming you're seeing everybody on the screen, you're wrong. Okay, number six, those visual points on the arrival should be already in your GPS, Endeavor Bridge, Ripon, but you're not flying an IFR flight plan. You're flying a ground track. Those points will get you started, but again, keep your eyes outside and fly the visual references. What is this guy doing? Also, don't expect to start the fiscal arrival at Ripon. You might get lucky and be able to start it at one of the transition points, such as the Endeavor Bridge. However, when we got there, it was Sunday morning and the mass arrival, and the conga line started well south of that at Portage Municipal, C47 on the chart. So if you <laughs> cut the corner, there's gonna be issues, all right? There may be a big hole and you might be able to do it, but I want you to expect to be cut off. That son of a bitch cut me off. Remember that bonanza from before? Well, he went belly up to us, and I had to deconflict to avoid hitting him. So he cut us off. Bad place to be, bro. He was clueless that I was there. I hope so. If he knew I was there, mm. which brings me to the next point. Don't get mad. Remember, this is all about fun. We're having fun. You're having fun. Number nine, be ready to fly a non-standard visual approach. That's half of the fun, and try to land as close as you can on that yellow spot, red spot, whatever spot it is. Just be flexible with your glide path and manage your energy appropriately. They'll give you enough time to plan your final turn based upon what color dot you're landing on. Clear your flight path and manage that energy and don't forget your gums check. Harvey, I need you to bring it in towards the numbers. Bring it in towards the orange dot. Tighten it up, tighten it up, please. Finally, have your parking side within reach so that you can show the marshalers where you want to go and don't raise a stink if they marshal you somewhere you're not expecting. Welcome to Fonda Life. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to park near a buddy, then I recommend you arrive together as a formation. Shut down your motor, wipe off your brow, and thank a volunteer and set up camp. Nice job, thanks for volunteering. Awesome. As you probably already know by now, the ATC folks are legendarily good. Remember, help them out by being an elephant. And remember, if you do have an emergency, you are the priority, do not hesitate to sing out. They might ask you if you can go to Fond du Lac or Appleton or somewhere else, but if you can't, do what you gotta do to safely land that aircraft. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And if you see me at Oshkosh, make sure and say hello. And if I see you wearing Clear Direct merch, I'll have a little something for you. We've just gone live, so order now at the link in the description and use code OSH23 for 10% off your order. Order by July 10th to so make sure you receive it by Oshkosh. Fights on. Thanks for watching. Until next time, you're clear direct.